Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What are the federal immigration laws? So you're wondering about the federal immigration laws in the United States. Let's break it down. The foundation of U.S. immigration law is the Immigration and Nationality Act, or INA, which was passed in 1952 and has been amended many times since. This law is codified in Title VIII of the United States Code. The INA sets the rules for how many immigrants can enter the U.S. each year. For example, it allows for up to 675,000 permanent immigrant visas across various categories. However, there's no limit on the number of visas for immediate relatives of U.S. citizens, such as spouses, parents, and children under 21. There are several types of immigrant visas. Immediate relative visas are for close family members of U.S. citizens. Family preference visas are for other relatives, but these have numerical limits. Employment-based visas are for workers with a cap of 140,000 per year, including their spouses and minor children. Diversity visas are for people from countries with low rates of immigration to the U.S. And special immigrant visas are for non-citizens who have worked for the U.S. government or military. The process of getting an immigrant visa involves several steps. For family-based immigration, a U.S. citizen or lawful permanent resident must petition for their relative, prove the relationship, meet income requirements, and sign an affidavit of support. The relative must also meet eligibility criteria, including a medical exam and vaccinations. For employment-based visas, the employer often needs to test the U.S. labor market and get certification from the Department of Labor before filing a petition with U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services. Refugees can also enter the U.S. through the U.S. Refugee Admissions Program, or with the President consulting with Congress to set an annual number of refugees to be admitted. In addition to these visa categories, there are humanitarian protections, like asylum and temporary protected status, which don't have numerical caps but have other restrictions. Federal immigration law also covers the rights and obligations of aliens in the U.S. and provides the means for aliens to become legally naturalized citizens. Over the years, several laws have modified the immigration system. For instance, the 1965 Immigration and Nationality Act also known as the Hart Seller Act, abolished the national origins quota system and focused on family relationships and employer sponsorships. The 1990 Immigration Act increased legal admissions, especially for employment-based immigrants, and the Illegal Immigration Reform and Immigrant Responsibility Act of 1996 added new grounds for inadmissibility and deportability. Understanding these laws is crucial because they determine who can enter the U.S., how they can enter, and what rights and responsibilities they have once they are here. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.